Resiliency is a characteristic which is woven into individuals who refuse to play second fiddle or settle for second best. For the Holy Game Knights baseball team, their never say die attitude translated in to their first officer gold in their school's history. Last Wednesday, when they defeated the Ad Casta Royals 5 to 4 in Toronto to take the title. A dramatic and heart pounding ninth inning comeback was the key catalyst to the Knights' improbable win, which saw the club score three runs in the bottom of the frame to erase a two run deficit. And second baseman Derek Loback explains why he was so confident that he and his teammates would be able to get the job done. Especially going, going down uh, two runs and having to score three in the bottom, um, they, brought, they took out their big pitcher and I thought we had a really good chance. We had our top lineup coming up and uh, we have a lot of good hitters on this team and I was pretty confident coming, going into the final inning that we pulled out. The championship game pinned these two teams head to head against each other once again, it was a rematch of the West Regional Final, a game in which the Knights won by a final score of four to nothing. The Knights were also able to continue a positive trend with their victory for the local area. It's the second straight French Cup for the region following the Massey Mustangs' victory over St. Anne's a year ago. Infielder Spencer Church ignited his team's offense in the fifth when he hit a game-tying double after Ancaster had taken a one nothing lead to draw first blood. Church says that patience was a virtue to his approach at the plate. Uh, Swung at some bad pitches before in my first two at bats, so I was looking for a good fastball to hit. And then uh, once I hit it, I knew I made pretty good contact with it. And I knew Mitch was had some very good speed at first base, and I was hoping that ball got by the outfielder and uh, Mitch was able to score. So uh, once I got to second base, I was pretty ecstatic. Uh, I knew right from then that our team had the, uh, had the momentum and could just keep rolling with it and hopefully bring it home. According to Knights catcher Luke Leffler, Playing in Toronto's Rogers Center was an experience that he and his teammates won't soon forget. However, he did admit that everyone on the team had to overcome some early nerves in order to experience some success. I just wanted to focus on uh, playing baseball, you know, at the Rogers Center. Uh, a lot of the kids was the first time there and just take it all in. It's just told them uh, how to go out and do what we do. Uh, play a normal baseball game, play air free, and uh, play like we've been playing all season. Achieving the ultimate goal left Knights outfielder Manic DeJoria overcome by emotion. He described how he felt once the game went final, and he says that this accomplishment will allow the program to reach greater heights in the future. I was just going nuts, I guess, after the game. Everyone was just cheering, everyone was going nuts, because I guess the first, this is the first time you've ever won an officer, so it was pretty, pretty, pretty nerve-wracking, it was pretty exciting. And do you think that will propel the program in the future now that you're, you were on the national stage before or through this game? Yeah, it will. It will it'll bring our confidence up a lot higher than last year. You know, we'll know if we won an officer, we can do it again. We won't, you know, we won't be keeping our heads down and everything. Good for next year. Head coach Will Ruttinger described the trials and tribulations that his team had to endure throughout the course of the season. Well, in, it, it's, it's interesting. Um, I can probably say that the, some of the toughest competition we had, period, was uh, playing in Wexa. Uh, local baseball in this area is absolutely phenomenal and presented a significant challenge. We got through Wexa, um, a rain shortened season this year. Um, with all the delays, but we uh, we did uh, end up uh, going five and zero during a regular season. Got to the Wexa playoffs, which were again shortened as well. Uh, two games, the semifinal and final, one against uh, Villanova and one against Massey. Um, won both those games as well too. And as I said, probably 
two of the best teams we've played all season. Church says he's proud of the legacy that he and his teammates have left putting Holy Names Baseball on the map. And he says he's hopeful that their efforts will help propel the program to one of the finest in all of Ontario. I think we have a pretty prestige program that's uh, really uh, in its, not almost in its prime right now. Even though we won off the gold, I believe that uh, for the next years to come, we can still accomplish that feat and that'll, uh, with the younger players we have developing up, that uh, this program's gonna be thriving for the next few years and uh, we're, we're gonna be well known across Ontario. The difference between the impossible and the possible is an unwavering commitment to succeed. And for the Holy Name Knights, they exhibited a tremendous sense of courage, determination, grit, and a relentless will to win in order to climb to the top of the baseball mountain. And now they can all rest easily, knowing that their mission has been achieved. Reporting from Holy Names High School for CFTV, I'm Kevin McShann.